We've been hearing from people that it could be a rough year dealing with ticks and mosquitoes. Folks want to blame the amount of rain that we've seen recently, but is that actually the case? We're getting answers from a local entomologist on what to expect and what to do to stay safe. Some insects thrive in wet weather. However, should you come across ticks or mosquitoes, Natasha Wright, an entomologist with Brom and Termite and Pest Elimination, says it's not so much due to rain, but rather the temps we've experienced this past winter. We had a pretty mild winter, and a lot of times with mild winters, the ticks and mosquitoes um, that are overwintering are hibernating. They won't get killed off by those uh, sudden low temperatures. And Wright tells Western Mass News that can lead to a higher population as we enter the spring and summer months. But regardless of what the numbers are, whether they're low numbers or high numbers, um, May and June are going to be typically the highest highest uh, populations for your ticks, and then going into the summer is when you're really going to see those mosquitoes. Wright says there's no growing trend of more insects. It's just something that comes with the arrival of spring. Just know anytime it's warm, these things can come out, ticks in particular, so just staying away from tick habitat, those areas around transition zones where the grass uh, goes into woodlands. When it comes to ticks and mosquitoes, Wright says there are three keys to protecting yourself. She says wear long sleeves, long pants, and wear repellent when you're outdoors. If you wind up with a tick on you, Wright says removing it within 24 hours will greatly reduce the chances of getting any disease, such as Lyme disease, that they may be carrying. But she says there is a proper way to remove the insect. You don't want to twist. You don't want to burn them with a fire. You don't want to smother them in Vaseline. People like to do all sorts of weird things to them. Grab them as close to the skin as possible. Pull them straight up. And if you end up leaving a bit, a bit in your skin, like the mouth parts, it'll come out just like a splinter. Wright says the best way to keep mosquitoes at bay is to remove stagnant water in containers like bird baths, buckets, and wheelbarrows.